Hey guys, what's up? Trace Aaron here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a safe in Minecraft. Now, uh, I've tried looking this up myself uh, numerous times. Uh, it's always failed, and it's it's not always like easy to find like a way to make a safe, and I haven't really found one that I like. So I'm going to make a safe that is made of unclean redstone. And what I define as unclean redstone is redstone that which can be fixed with comparators but in this case I'll be using pistons. Now, I'm gonna be using comparators anyway, but I mean this cutting off circuits with comparators, but generally I have an idea of redstone, but there's a certain, mm, I'm not sure what to call it, but there's a certain way I like putting my redstone and it's not very clean. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the doorway. Um, I'm assuming that the circuitry is gonna be cut off about here ish so circuitry is all going to be on this side um the doorway is going to be here and i'm guessing what loot's going to be is right here you can like make it equal or you can make it look on both sides it doesn't really matter but most circuitry is going to be on this side uh there might be some back here but i'm going to be showing you an over comp oversimplified version of redstone which can easily be compacted so we're going to make the board first um, now with a new feature that's been added to Minecraft, uh, picture frames with a certain item can now throw out a redstone signal. So it's usually a good thing. Now I'm going to make a, let's see, I think it's seven, seven. Uh, I believe it's seven, um, rotations. So which means that from one redstone, it will from one turn rather it'll put off one redstone actually it's automatically one redstone but every one after that I think it equals up to eight and I'm just gonna put on peaceful mode cuz don't want those slimes interrupting the audio there we go um, yeah it adds up to eight so let's make a frame let's see if we can find one first though caps locks and I put on caps locks don't know how to spell apparently um, whatever you want to use in the frame, it doesn't really matter. I don't know why I deleted it. I don't know why I wasn't, I didn't really prepare for this, but I'm just showing you guys from, you can have as many codes as you want to open this door. In this case, I'm going to make it three. So the other co things here are just to put someone off or to make someone believe that there is more complicated redstone than there actually is. It's really not too complicated. Uh, it's just a lot of work I put into it because I oversimplify it. Um, let's actually, let's make it potions, I guess. So let's go to the potions, uh, water bottle, generation. You can do this with anything too. It doesn't have to be these specific potions. Um, it could be items. It can be, it can be anything that could fit in a picture frame, which I believe is any item. Uh, we'll do this. Um, all right. So let's have a bottle of water. Wow, that was English. Um, healing, slowness, carrot, watermelon, and rabbit's foot. Um, you're going to want to make sure that um, at the end there's enough room for you to build with the redstone. Uh, in this case, I'm going to make it so it's a three, uh, three code. Now, this is seven digits, but how many brackets you want to put up is up to you. You can make it as complicated as you want. Um, what I like to do is put some redstone on circuitry and make pistons go off to make it sound like it's working, but really it's not. So we can try that out. Um, so let's start off with redstone. You're going to need redstone, obviously, a comparator. Uh, redstone repeaters. Uh, redstone, you're going to need... I already put redstone. I said redstone twice. Well, you're going to need a lot of redstone anyway, especially if you're doing this on uh, survival mode. Uh, you're going to need normal pistons. Um... Sorry, you're gonna need sticky pistons and you're gonna need any kind of block, it doesn't really matter. So I'll just use this uh, granite, which uh, I like the texture of the new blocks actually. I haven't done a Minecraft video in a while, so just putting that out there. So let's put a comparator, it needs to be facing this way. Now this will automatically put off, I think this is, I think this is a signal, I think it'll power something, let's check it out, yeah. So. On a single rotation, the first rotation, it'll put off one. Now, it's not a good item to display, actually. Uh, let's go with a some boots, I guess. So, one rotation. 
every rotation will put off a redstone block, and this is the final one. This is, I think, it's number seven, and then it'll go back to one. So what you're gonna need to do is that say I want to make the number three or so. Yeah, let's make it three. And we're gonna go one. You have to also remember that actually we're gonna make this a bit longer because I'll tell you why after. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. You have to include the two that adds up to the redstone to actually connect to the door. So one, two, and uh, Peter and redstone and redstone actually down here and then redstone. So let's grab some more obsidian. Let's just say the doorway is kind of awkward. Well, let's put it this way. You might want to build uh, these panels a bit further to the side before it gets to the door, but this is why I kind of made it five and longer on this side, because if I did three, it would be interfering with here. So, um, let's add a piston here. So, when I turn on the signal, that uh, should be a comparator, or no, a redstone repeater. Um, what have I done wrong? Um, no, it's fine. Let's see. Uh, so I made this one. Actually, let's try and make it this. As you can see, this is really overcomplicated for one redstone. It's really simple. Um, Let's try it out. So one, two, three, four. Okay. So I made the signal three. Yeah. Let's check it out. Um, so let's put a piston right here just to signify at three, this door should open. One, two, three. I'm not sure why that's not working. Hmm. Oh, it doesn't carry the signal. Doesn't carry the signal. I forgot about this portion. That was my mistake. All right, let's get rid of this. And just before how many ever you want to carry out, you're gonna to want to put a repeater. No, that should work. Oh, cause I made a five. All right, let's see. All right, let's check it out. One, two, three, four, five. All right, five will go off. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this one shouldn't go off unless I go to seven. No, six. This is at five. Yes. Okay. So basically why I'm doing this. Now you're asking, why do you need this extra stone when you open the door? The thing is, I encountered a problem when I tried to uh, make my own version of the safe before. And the issue was. Oh, oh, gonna. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna have to move it over. Now I have to recount. Um, I'll get back to my train of thought after I fix this. One, two, three, four, five. That still works. And. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So the signal stops right here, it looks like. And this should signal, yeah, that powers that. So I encountered a problem with trying to make this safe. The problem was, is that every time anyone would dial up to nine, so you had this panel, you could get any of these, rotate them to the last one, and it would open the door automatically. So to fix that problem, I had to find a way of shutting off the circuit if they went over the amount. So for example, if this was five for say, and it would automatically move this piston, which would, I'll show you after when we're doing the rest of the uh, signal, um, right here, the signal will carry all along and the piston will block the signal. All these pistons are currently blocking the signal because it's an inverse uh, piston. 
which I'll show you later in the tutorial. It's hard to explain now, but this is needed because if anyone did anything over, in this case it's five, then they could also open the circuitry. So if all dials were turned to seven, every single, the safe would be easily opened. There's no complications. So to prevent that, I made one block. So when it goes to six rather than five, this will power off the circuit, which means that no, you won't be able to go over. And if you go under, so if I went to four right now, one, two, three, four, it's not going to signal it either. So it has to be a specific number or it'll cut it off. Now you're probably thinking, well, they'll eventually hear the piston sounds, right? Well, that's what you need to be able to con like con contemplate on your own because I could easily make it so I do this and this is for later use, by the way. This is for when, like this. So when I do this, redstone per se, and I'm going, oh, well, I opened the first signal, I heard a piston. I heard a second piston. This must be, you know, one of the other panels that works. But actually, it isn't. It's just a piston that is going off. Now, that's just complicated sounds that's tricking the mind. Um, there is a way to compact this, but for now, I'm going to create a three-digit signal. And we're going to open this door. So I'm going to create the first circuit. And after this point, you guys can stop if you want to. Um, I'm just going to continue making the safe because I want to make it three, uh, a three uh, graph right here. I want to make three of them. Wow, I'm really not good on vocabulary today. But when it hits five, it'll finally hit the signal. So at this point, you can it doesn't matter. You don't have to keep track and count anymore. So let's go down here. And uh, yeah, so obviously you can, as you can see, this is a really overcomplicated signal. Um, if you guys want to do something different, I would highly recommend it. So let's create. So let's say it starts here. And the redstone signal goes here. And we'll put, it doesn't, you can put, uh, no repeaters. Um, you can put the signal carried along as long as you want. I'm not sure what the door is actually, but I think that'll power it. I'm not quite sure, but I'm pretty sure it will. Okay, there's a redstone right there, so we don't want to mess with that. And boom, that does not open the door, which is a problem. That's an issue. I don't know why that's happening. Oh, well, I lost control of my, uh, my thing there, my mouse. Hmm, the door isn't opening for what reason? So, okay. I see what's happening here. So let's put slabs here. This can work, and I know there's a projection to it, so to hide the redstone, we're going to put slabs here. Uh, right here. And we'll make the door a bit higher. And yeah, that, that should actually, making the door higher wouldn't solve the problem. Hmm. I am having an issue here. Uh, I'll figure that out after. I should have been prepared for this. But, I'm not, so I'm going to continue this. So, for say this works, and for say, ignoring this factor, this redstone, um, everything else works. Um, this is just a basic, wait, if I use a repeater, does it turn on the, or here? Now, for some reason, I think... If I do this, I think this will work, but let's try it. Oh, obviously, David, you don't you can't. You can't do that. There we go. This works. 
There we go. I figured it out. So, this signal will automatically open the door. However, we don't want that. We want the door to be closed unless they turn on the right code. So, to do that, we're going to do some simple um, engineering here. Redstone engineering. Alright, this is on. And so, this is on. Huh. What happened to the piston? So, that closes the door, obviously. So, I'm not sure. I think it's this. Okay. I think this is how it works. Let's uh, try it out, though. Now, I'm, obviously, you guys can tell I'm oversimplifying this thing. Um, so let's go to five. Let's try it. This is the first signal. So when you walk in, uh, as you can see, it's currently locked. Um, all the redstone is hidden. At this point of the video, this is kind of just a simple circuitry. This is how it gets begin. Um, your treasure, whatever, is in this corner. Uh, I guess we'll represent it with a granite. If it's the most valuable granite in the world. So this is a basic circuit for five. Now this can be any number between one and seven. You can make it a seven signal. However, you're gonna have to have an eighth to continue the uh, eighth piece of redstone that's not lit up to be able to continue it. So let's try it out. So we start it. So this is one, this is one panel. This is a one panel signal. If you really wanna confuse someone, it's not gonna confuse them for very long. I'd recommend three or four or more if you have the time. You have the space and you have the motivation to do it because this is an overcomplicated circuit. Uh, so let's try it out. So one, two, three, four, five. That'll open it. Now what happens is that the signal is carried. It doesn't put this off. Doesn't cut it off. At three, at four, however, uh, it won't be enough redstone to be able to carry over to this repeater. This repeater is what will go around the redstone it will turn this redstone torch off because there's a redstone signal flowing into the torch or the block behind it which will turn off the redstone torch which means this piston is deactivated this pulls back this is on an incline so that's what redstone has to be it has to be on cut off by another block but it won't destroy the redstone or anything and causing the redstone to be pushed backwards now this automatically as always will power this door there's nothing else that can prevent that um, the only thing that's going to stop it is the inverse signal so when I turn it to six however it will turn off a signal what this will do is that the signal will carry over at six and finally hit this repeater at this repeater the repeater isn't actually a necessary component it just carries the redstone signal you can have a repeater a bit more up if you want, or, um, actually, no, you need it there. Sorry, I, I'm not thinking. You need the repeater here, uh, the moment, um, just before the six, after the six, rather. And that will kill the redstone. It will hit here. Now, this, these repeaters aren't needed. Anything after the first repeater, uh, is not necessarily needed. But the first repeaters are definitely needed depending on what number you choose. So this will send a signal through. This will cut off the signal. And it will not allow redstone to flow through. Now anything over 6 however. Or sorry. This. Alright let's try it again. So this is 5. This is 6. Anything over that. Which is 7. Or finally 1 again. Will not activate it. This will not open the door. Only at five will this door open. And that is the basic process. Now you can do this for as many signals as you want. Um, it doesn't have to be together. They can be in different parts of the rooms. Uh, they don't have to connect at all. This is just the basic circuitry. Uh, it's really overcomplicated, guys. Um, you can have multiple outputs. As long as, say, if you wanted to put a piston right here with the same redstone scenario right here, all you'd have to do is you would have to make this one deep, make it so that there is some sort of piston blocking it, and that will cut off the signal as well. 
Um, it's really simple. Um, it looks way more complicated than it is. Um, it's how you make a basic safe in Minecraft. Um, uh, I recommend that if you're using an adventure map because it has game mode 2, you can't break anything. Uh, like what I just did, totally incidentally and on purpose. Uh, then, yeah, I would recommend it uh, on creative or if you're on a server, then I wouldn't recommend it because there's no block that's unbreakable besides bedrock. And if you get bedrock somehow, well, then you're on a server that would allow us bedrock. But, um,. Pistons can't be, pistons can't push bedrock, so that's also another issue you have to think about if you think you can do this uh, on a server. Um, otherwise, I would recommend doing an adventure map because it's fun. It kind of adds a bit of puzzling to it because I, I enjoy strategy, and overall, it's an easy circuit. Um, not a lot of materials are needed. I think you need maybe stone for the compact barriers and stuff. But yeah, um, a little tip is that add distractions don't be afraid to add like re piss, random pistons everywhere and have things throw them off because it will help a lot if they hear a piston in the background or if they have their piston sounds on then it's going to be kind of a scenario where they're like oh well i heard a piston which means i'm getting this right now if you want it to be helpful then now you can do that but if you really want to screw with them in an adventure map you would place random pistons random redstone random ticks uh random dispenser charges and that will really throw them off i assure you i've i've made a more uh complicated one before unfortunately the world is uh has been accidentally deleted but i made a really really th off one i actually forgot the uh, code itself and uh i had to go in the back of the redstone and figure it out to open the door it frustrated me at one point because i forgot that um you need to have an extra redstone here for it to carry an overclock uh and over signal to shut off the circuitry and I forgot about that and it really frustrated me but um, yeah this is I think I've covered everything this is how you make a basic safe in Minecraft um, if you guys have any questions or think I didn't explain it enough I mean I probably didn't because um, I'm just not on my A game today but um, I assure you that I could easily help you make one of these or if you need another tutorial or a smart smarter tutorial um, then just ask um, and thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later